loved ones, right? Because, you know, um, when my mother died and my father, my dad, like, they were almost in the same year, uh, February 8th. And I mean, it's in August, so um, it's uh, devastating, it's, you know, but it is what it is. And you face that obstacle with strength in Christ. I think God is with me because he knows my life is going to be this, that he's preparing me. So I need to be strong. And most of the time, um, um, the ones that God chooses to be Christians are the strong ones, right? They pick strong ones. And you, you, you'll you see this in your in your aura, in your heart as a kid, if you, you have that uh, desire in your heart. I've always had... I've always loved Jesus. I've always um, have that connection with him. I don't exactly recall how I accepted him as a child, but I've never lived a day away from Jesus. That's how I had the strength to encounter all obstacles. Because keep in mind, Jesus said, it's in the scripture, I'm not saying this, Jesus said he's not really promising um, uh, no problem life because Keep in mind, problems are teachers, right? They're teachers. They teach you a lesson. Anyways, I know everybody knows it already. So, um, you know, um, he's just promised you an eternal life. And at the end, the end of the journey, the end of the journey where, you know, if you follow him, right? Follow him, he said. Then he promised you something at the end. But following him doesn't mean that, you know what? You know, people are like, please, God, can I have this? Please, God. He's not a lamb. He's not like your wish. Wish, you know? Your wish is what you want. It's through your own. You need to work on that. Like, if you read that through him, you you, you um, meditate on those if he, want, if he wants it to happen. And then it could happen, trust me. I do it, but everything here comes with a price. Nothing comes free. If you notice the earliest now the better okay it's in the scripture you need to it comes everything also comes with a price if you want something this you need to sacrifice something if you want this you need to sacrifice something so if you want money you gotta work for it simple as that okay or you get in another way right but something is compromised there somehow together okay so another key that could be deceiving is that um that it, it, it's um okay everyone's the same that it's okay uh, i was mentioning to look at other um other half i don't know other people while you're in marriage like in the um ten commandments that you know you shouldn't be looking or you shouldn't commit adultery but jesus said you need to um you need to not even look at other people if, because if you do, then you're committing adultery, right? So a lot of, this is what actually is forcing a lot of, um, I guess, preachers to co-preach. Uh, but that's, again, that's, again, deceiving um, because in the scripture, um, you're not allowed to co-preach um, because one has to preach one has to be about, um, uh, and that person needs to really, um, how, how do you say that? I can't think of the word. My apologies. And I'm having my allergies at home because I ate um, pinapa yesterday. So you need to like um, put, um, set aside your, um, to be a preacher, especially a woman cannot really preach so it's it's not in the scripture the man has to to, um, to do the preaching and the man has to be the man of the house so this a marriage I've been married twice but not really legal marriage to be honest and I'm gonna tell you one day the story if I have given a chance if I'm still alive um so like okay I'm gonna have to go.